Hi. What do you do when you're feeling angry or upset with another person? Do you go quiet and try to avoid an argument? Do you huff, puff, slam doors, shout or insult others? Do you apologise to make peace, even if you're not in the wrong? Or do you speak calmly and try to find a compromise? Everyone is different and what we usually do may not always work. So one thing that can be really helpful with managing our relationships with friends and family is to work out what our conflict style is. I like to remember the different conflict styles as animals. So let's have a look and see which style we can relate to. Here's the accommodating bear. This is cooperating to a high degree, sometimes at the expense of your own goals and objectives. The accommodating bear might say, I don't care that much, have it your way, or I give in. This conflict style can be effective when the other party is the expert, or has a better solution, or if you really want to maintain a future relationship. However, if this happens too often, you may find yourself feeling resentful that you are unable to give your opinion or be heard. The avoiding turtle. This is when you simply avoid the issue. The avoiding turtle may say, I'd just rather not deal with this right now. Avoiding would be positive for dangerous situations. It allows you to step back and cool down. And not so positive if you don't give your opinion or speak up when it's something that really matters to you. Avoiding is not a good long-term strategy. You aren't helping the other party reach their goals and you aren't assertively pursuing your own. Next, the collaborating owl. This is where you pair up with the other party to achieve both of your goals, breaking free of the win-lose idea and seeking the win-win. The collaborating owl may say, two heads are better than one. This can mean reframing the challenge and creating a space for everybody's ideas. The downside is that it requires a high degree of trust, time and effort from everyone involved to ensure that everyone is happy enough. Here's the competing shark. This is the win-lose approach. The competing shark may say, I take charge and act in a very assertive way to achieve your goals. This approach may be helpful when you need quick, decisive action, but can be unhelpful in other situations as sharks aren't too fussed about relationships. So being a shark too often may lead to losing friends. Lastly is the compromising fox. This is the lose-lose scenario where neither party really achieves what they want. The competing fox may say, let's meet halfway or let's split the difference. This may be appropriate for scenarios where you need a temporary solution or where both sides have equally important goals. A negative is that it can be time consuming if both parties do not want to give something up. So, which conflict style do you most relate to? Do you recognise yourself in any of them? What about your friends and family? What are their go-to conflict styles? It's really important to remember that no one style is necessarily better than the other. As we saw, there's pros and cons to each one. No one style is fixed either. So next time you're in a conflict, how about practicing different approaches to see if you can get a better outcome?